Hello everyone, I'm Robin and in this video I'm going to talk about words and expressions of encouragement. Okay, now what does encouragement mean or to encourage? Uh, that means you have a friend who has a very big test and they're studying and you want to encourage them. Okay, you have to tell them happy and positive words so they can do their best. All right, that's encouragement. You encourage them. Now, these are the most common expressions, and you probably already know most of them. The first one, good luck, of course. This is the most common one. It works in every situation. Good luck, okay? That's a good expression of encouragement. The next one is more specific. You could say, good luck on your test. Good luck on your test. Good luck on your job interview next week. Good luck on your marriage. Okay. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. You can do it. Do your best. Okay. These are also common expressions of encouragement you can use to your friend. You can do it. Do your best. And the last one, keep up the good work. Now, keep up the good work. Is a little bit different. Keep up the good work means that person is already doing a good job and you want them to continue doing a good job. So in the office, uh, the boss usually says this to a hardworking employee. Keep up the good work. Keep doing a good job. All right. So these are the most common ways to encourage someone to do their best. Let's look at some example sentences. All right, let's look at the first example. Good luck on your first day of class. Good luck on your first day of class. The next example. I'm sure you can pass your test. You can do it. I'm sure you can pass your test. You can do it. The next example. I know you can get a promotion at work. Do your best. I know you can get a promotion at work. Do your best. And the last example. Wow! In every subject you got A+. Plus. Keep up the good work. Wow! In every subject you got A+. Plus. Keep up the good work. Those example sentences showed you exactly how and when to use words of encouragement. All right, now I'm going to tell you a little story about when I first came to Korea. And I heard uh, many Koreans saying the expression uh, fighting. But the, with Korean pronunciation, it sounds more like hiding. Uh, I was very confused at what this meant. Okay, it took me a long time to understand that this was a word of encouragement, okay, that they would say to their friend. Because the word fighting is a very negative word about fighting. So I, I didn't realize that it was a word of encouragement. Now I do. Now I know if you want to encourage someone, you say fighting. But in English, we can't use that word. It's a Konglish term. So you have to use uh, the examples I showed you today. All right. So if you say fighting, to someone who speaks English, a native speaker, they will not understand and they will be confused. All right, that's it and uh, see you next time.